Pro Bowler, All Pro defensive tackle. Yes, we saw a lot of we saw a lot of pass rushers go at the top of this draft. Absolutely. Trayvon, Aiden, Kayvon, yes, Jermaine Johnson, and others. Uh -huh. What are they up against here, Joe? Let's let's talk some pass rush here, and what some of these rookies are up against, and maybe we should temper some expectations right. for what we should see this year. Well, first things first, like you said, let's temper some expectations. These guys are coming from college. Yes, they were at the top of the draft, but when you get to the NFL, it's a completely different game. It's the best of the best, and what you have to realize first in the NFL, Everybody's good. Yeah. As much as it may not seem yeah. like it, everybody's good. You may play games throughout the season where you go against a bunch of not very good tackles. So you got to realize that first. And the fans have to relax. Okay. This is for the future. So let these guys learn. We're on the field today, Gerald. Right. I, th I thought, like, if you come over here, I'll be like the okay. right tackle. Yes, sir. You'll be one of these edge rushers here. Okay. Avon, pick it. And let's just talk a little bit about how they, the, the, the mindset of yes, what sir. they should have. Yes, sir. So first things first. Everything starts with the get off. I was taught without a get off, nothing works. Okay. So first things first, have an incredible so get off. So eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. Ball moves, you move. As a tackle, as a defensive end, what you want to go off of is the tackle's knee. Okay. Because yes. they always, what do you see a lot of the times? You see the tackles may move their knee. They might go before the ball. So as a defensive end, what you want to look at. Even before the foot moves. Even before the foot moves, you want to look at that tackle. As soon as that knee moves. Yeah. You're going. And okay. where you want to get to is your set line. Start with your fastball. Fastball first. So fastball meaning you gotta have a move. You, you gotta, gotta have, have a, a you gotta have a, a way go -to. to beat a guy. You gotta have a way to beat a guy. You have to have a go-to. That's your fastball. Your okay. set line. Four yards behind the tackle's outside foot. Okay. Get to that point before you do anything. Okay. And then you have to have a counter. Okay. You start with the fastball, then you work on your counter. So the great ones, the Max Crosby's, the yes. TJ. What, the, the Chandler Jones, Absolutely. the guys that live on the edge. Yes, sir. Like, they all have their fastball. They all have a fastball. And it's different. TJ's is a little yeah. bit different than Max. You played with Max. Yeah. But then, once you, once I take your fastball away, once you take that's when you've got away, a counter. That's when you have to have a counter. It can get here if you open up. It can be an inside move. It can be a speed to power. Yeah. But you have to have a counter. Start with the fastball and make sure you have a counter. Okay, that's on the edge, Joe. That's let's on go, the edge. Let's go inside yes, where sir. you made a... You're still making a good living. Yes, sir. All right. You were a three technique defensive tackle. Yes, sir. Describe what a three technique is. People hear that term. What, what is that, Gerald? <laughs> so I was taught it's the piston that drives the engine. Okay. It's the three technique. So the one technique is, is right lined up on the center. The center for the ones who don't know is the one who snaps the ball. The three technique is lined up on the outside shoulder of the offensive guard. I'm the right guard right now. So I'm the three technique on the outside shoulder. Okay. If you have a dominant three technique, you can have a dominant There's defense. one that plays for that There's team right there. There's one that plays for the team right behind me. That's right. If you have a dominant three technique, you can dominate the so game. So Aaron Donald is dominant. Yes, he just got one of the biggest contracts ever. Absolutely. But if, I'm, if, if you're emulating Aaron Donald or mm -hmm. Jeffrey Simmons, some of these guys, right. And I'm the right guard right here. And I right. said to you, what are you thinking right now? So first off, you think it's square principle. Okay. The object of an inside rusher is to get that offensive lineman, that guard, outside of that square. You okay. can do it with your alignment. Yeah. You can do it with your counter, your inside move. You can do it with your get off. Or you can just do it with power, power. and get him outside of the square. Okay. So it starts with the square. It starts with the square. So does it matter... What are you looking at when you're studying this guy? Is it, he's a short setter? Is he a guy that gets off the ball? So you have to know who you're facing. That's where film study comes into it. Yeah. You have to know if a guy's going to get on you now. If a guy's getting on you now, he's playing guard because he doesn't like space. Put him in space. That's why Aaron Donald, you see him, he'll rush from a four, which is a looser three. He might get at a five technique. Yeah. Because once he's getting here with that speed, he's stretching that guard and making him have to move his feet. Getting him into space. He's getting him into space. But if you got a guy who likes to get on you now, you just know you got to speed up your hands. This guy could go on and on <laughs> and on. It's just the beginning right here. But for these rookies, it's just yes, the beginning. Absolutely. But you got to take, you got to have your fastball. Fastball. You got to have something that can some beat some type a, of change up. And effort, effort, relentless effort. All the great ones have it. 